What up guys, welcome back to Sharp Moves. Another cool video. I know every single time I, I do a video, I say this is gonna be a cool one. I'm super intrigued by the new Genesis brand, subsidiary of Hyundai. You can take a look. Big, big, almost Bentley looking sort of brand, right? The, the grill is really what kind of caught my eye to the brand, uh, kind of drew me to it. Uh, so huge, huge grill. Uh, you know, sports sedan, competes with the M3, you know, Cadillac AT4 as well. Uh, really, really sort of well-selling sedan right now. It's got 385 horsepower, twin turbo V6, plenty power, plenty performance, plenty luxury. I'm gonna take you on a full tour around the car uh, and we're gonna, look, we're gonna look at it from in and out and, uh, and see if it's worth a buy. Under 50 grand, let's see if it's worth it. take too much time again uh, the, the two sort of light strips very reminiscent of Genesis you'll see it on their their GV uh, 70 their SUV <coughs> more so on the back side of it as well uh, it's their kind of calling card um, the front grill very like Bentley-esque sort of thing um, is is very very like you just know it's a Genesis when you see that. This is their logo, pretty strong looking, right? Big, big wings looking across. Some sort of artificial carbon fiber, pretty good. Um, you even get some, some sort of power dams on the hood here. This one's finished in just a nice sort of, you know, um, nice black, a little bit of sort of, you know, some flex for the paint. I don't know if the, if the camera will catch this, but if you come real close, you can see some nice flecking. Um, through the paint. It's a, it's a high quality paint. It's actually really, really, really nice. Um, coming around here, this one's all finished in black. It's been kind of murdered out. The owner has tinted the windows black. He's got a bit of a night package on it. So instead of like a typical gloss, he's got this this sort of dark, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like it's like a like a matte sort of chrome finish, but it, it looks really, really good. I, I, I hate gloss on a, on a sports car. I just feel like it, it just doesn't sort of work out. So even looking at the rims, the rims are all nice and black. Um, I don't know if I would if I would call that matte, but really, really nice dark finish. Uh, we got your Brembo brakes, lots of stopping power. It's so interesting that you have these beautiful big Brembo brakes. I found that was the one thing that I didn't like about the car is there wasn't enough bite on the on the brakes. You put a bunch of power into a sports sedan, you 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 need stopping power, right? And I just I felt like this wasn't. These weren't sufficient enough. That, that was one thing that I noticed that I didn't really like about the car. Um, yeah, then you get all your sort of, you, know, you remember you're in a 2022 car, so everything is pretty current, right? You get your turn signals through the, uh, the mirror housings. This is another thing very reminiscent to the Genesis brand. You get this like, even though it's not very functional, um, you get these like little air dams that I don't think do much because you can't get your hand through here. There's not a whole lot going on there. It's more of, I think, a styling cube, but it, it looks cool. It looks cool. Again, we're talking under 50 grand, so it's, it, it looks all right. Uh, here's your, your um, fuel tank. Uh, if we just popped open the back seat real quick, right? You get your Genesis on the, on the dams. You get your beautiful quilted leather. This is one of the really nice selling points here. Look at how gorgeous that leather is. Really nice, really comfortable. Front seats are really, really bolstered as well. Uh, everything is brushed aluminum. Everything is very, very high quality. 
Uh, really, really impressed with that. So just, just coming around here, uh, we'll take a quick look around the back side of it. I think the front of it is, is probably the, the nicest part. The back side doesn't look too, too bad, right? Really Here, small little splitter, that's nice, right? A little sun dry there underneath the car, keep it a little bit more planted. Genesis 3.G70, uh, 3.3, I said 3.5, it's a 3.3 liter single turbo. You get your all-wheel drive as well for, you know, for winter, for rain. Today we were driving in, in the wet quite a bit, and the thing, although it, it's almost 400 horsepower, it does break traction a little bit, but it, it handles itself you know, versus a, you know, a big, gnarly, you know, uh, rear wheel drive car, right? So it, it does well. It's a, it's a very practical car, right? Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna give you, it's gonna give you the ability to drive it uh, all year round. So again, we're talking under $50,000. I think this one is in and around, yeah, I shouldn't say $50,000. This one might be a little bit more. I'll put it on the screen exactly what it is. I think you can get a higher level model for 60, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Um, again, some some non-functional venting again that looks nice, but really serves no purpose. Um, you know, you get your BMW sort of shark fin look-alike, which again, it's a, it's kind of a knockoff from from BMW, but looks really really good. All right, so here we are in the 2020 Genesis G70, um, and again, guys, I I grabbed this car for a day. Um, sort of courtesy of Turo, I have a, a little agreement, a little deal with Turo going on where they give me these these good deals for these cars. You know, try and try and give a little bit of exposure to different brands and stuff like that. Um, I really, really wanted to drive this this brand just because I've been seeing it a lot lately, and it's it's just I, I just I really think that that Genesis is doing a really good job of their their styling cues. So, you know, I see this big front grill on this car all the time, and it, it just it just looks menacing. It looks really really cool. So I wanted to. Get in the car. I want to drive it for a day or two and uh, and get the sort of performance specs on it and get an idea as to how it drives. So now that we're in the cockpit here, if we look around from a luxurious standpoint, we've got quilted leather all over the side. We've got you know sort of fake carbon fiber. Still looks really really good. Alcantara all over the headrests and the top. It's got a beautiful panoramic sunroof. Um, you know the the technology everything is very current here and that's that's kind of what I'm after um, you know from a technology standpoint if you look at the, the the tachometer the digital display everything I mean obviously the left side the speedometer is is analog but everything else is you know the rev counter and everything is is digital um, nice big screen obviously that could be a little bit bigger but it, it doesn't really need to be it's kind of you know it's it's enough um, we've got Apple CarPlay here We've got all the creature comforts in terms of, uh, you know, our heating, cooling, our our navigation. Um, you know, nice soft touch leathers in here. Uh, just a really, really comfortable place to be for the price point. This this car comes in under fifty thousand dollars for sure. As we patch a beautiful G wagon there. Uh, so in terms of value for money, I think this is an awesome, awesome car. Really, really good sort of value, and and, and that's why I was intrigued by it. It was. I really, really thought the brand, it, it looked like the brand was doing really, really cool things. And I kind of knew what price point they were gonna come in. I, I, did, I knew it wasn't gonna be a BMW or high level quality. But if we look in front of us, this is the SUV variant. And what, what you'll notice that's really cool about them is they do these double lined sort of, um, you know, you see it on the headlights, you see it obviously on the rear lights here. And that's something very, very um, reminiscent of the Genesis. Brand. Um, so this one's called the GV70. I'm in a G70 right now, um, but you know we're talking all-wheel drive, 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. Um, you know performance numbers are pretty decent, right? Obviously not comparable to an M3 or some of that, but pretty decent, right? So if you look down here, we've got our we've got our parking, we've got our traction control. We can take off parking assists. Um, you know, we can, uh, you know, we've got our, our, our uh, parking cameras, parking assist. Uh, we've got our drive modes. If we look on the, the dashboard here where we're in eco mode, we can bring it to comfort, you know, just, just feel efficient, obviously, you know, nice and nice and quiet. Sport mode is gonna open up everything. You know, the suspension gets a little tighter. I can feel the seats gripping me a little bit more in, bolstering me a little bit. Sport Plus is the same um, as Sport. 
mode um, in that it has it has everything open, everything is in attack mode, but uh, DCT is off, or not DCT, but um, traction control is off in Sport Plus. Uh, and then you can obviously customize it as well as the as the, the final mode. So really, really cool place to be in. Uh, this guy's obviously put a little bit of work into his car. He's got these extra paddle shifters on here. Uh, funny story, he told me he tuned the car not tuned it, but put a big full exhaust on the on the car, and it sounded so loud and obnoxious that he he's got a young daughter, and he he's like I couldn't do it. It was just so loud that I had to I had to take it off. So it initially had a um, an exhaust on it, and he had to take it back off. So that was a pretty short lived thing. I think he does want to tune it and bring it up over 400 450 horsepower. So I think that's the initial goal. Um, what I do like about the car, the steering is is pretty tight. You know, I would give it sort of above average, um, you know, you know, above average sort of awards. Uh, I wouldn't say it's on par with with an M4 or like a C63 or any of these high level sedans. I wouldn't say it's up there, um, but you know, for what it does for for city sort of driving. For the sportiness that you get, I think it's uh, I think it definitely does the trick. Um, it's by no means loose. It's just not as it's not like a Scalpo. It's not like you're driving a 911. It's like very like you can point and shoot. It's not quite that same same thing. You know when I when I when I get deep into the corners under speed, it tends to feel a little bit like I I don't I don't feel confident in the car. Um, it starts to feel a little bit heavy. The, the steering starts to feel a little bit light. So let's just give her some here. Let's listen. We get a nice turbo spool. Yeah, it's got a it's got a nice sound. What I what I like about the car is it's got a really good sound when it's about sort of when it's about four thousand RPMs or higher. Um, that's when the turbos start to spool up, and you get this nice sort of hissing sound. Um, I think anything before that, it, it has a real dull sort of sound. Like it, it sounds like a lot of other cars. It doesn't really sound that special, but when you start to get into her in Sport or Sport Plus, it really comes alive, which is which is cool. I mean, I, you, you kind of want a car to be dull and, and very, you know, comfortable and, and docile until you want to bring it to life, right? And then and then it has a has a different sort of personality. So it definitely fulfills that. Uh, plenty power, you can hear that. Plenty power for city driving, again, 385 horsepower. Uh, plenty torque, you know, up in the low low fours, high high 300s in terms of torque as well. So definitely, definitely a good sort of, uh, you know, performance vehicle. Um, I think it, it does what it needs to do. So let's, uh, let's keep sort of, you know, flipping around the city and experiencing a little bit. It's obviously got a big sunroof, it's got a back seat. Um, you know, it's very practical. Everything is electronic, right? From the seats here, you get a good sound system. The tech is, is you know, is pretty, you get your nav here, you got your maps if you need them, right? Pretty decent. Everything is pretty cutting edge. Um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with, uh, you know, again, for the, what you get. Uh, based on the price point. So in terms of interior, I think it's uh, I think this car is a really really good buy So let's uh, let's maybe have a look at the the rest of the whip All right guys, just a quick little look here at the engine bay um, for the uh, Genesis um, G70 uh, so obviously you have these nice engine uh, Sort of motor mounts that keep everything nice and in place uh, You've got the engine here. It's obviously I'm pretty sure it's a single turbo um, V6 uh, the cool thing with this engine is when you get going again, when you get over 4,000 RPMs, you really hear the the turbo starting to spool up, like, uh, which is really really cool. Uh, so the owner of the this car has got some uh, intercoolers in here. These are aftermath. These are uh, extra mods. Um, and he talked about wanting to do a tune. I don't think he's done it yet. I think you can bring it up. To oh God, that's so horrible. Subaru um, <laughs> said he wanted to tune it up to about 450 horsepower. He did have an exhaust on it, but it was too loud for his kids and for his neighbors, so he, he took it out as well. So uh, again, just just taking a look at the at what you get here. This is a 2020, so it's very clean. It's a good package, right? You know, for the price, you're you're, you're getting a lot for your money here. 
<coughs> again, nice struts here. You get that on BMWs. Obviously, it's a little tighter. It's in carbon fiber, right? But you're paying for it. Um, this is gonna allow the engine to breathe a little bit more. You're gonna get a little bit more um, you know, fuel economy. Um, yeah, so looking, looking pretty good under the hood, all right? days with this car um, and it was it was something you know obviously I'm in the market for both to buy a vehicle right now it was something I was really intrigued by I got into the car thinking it's a Hyundai and I'm not not really gonna be into it and I've I've been blown away by this car this car is is amazing it it, it literally is it's luxurious it's 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 it performs it's you know it's all-wheel drive so it's it's a practical it's a it's practicality it's, it's got everything. I think for someone who doesn't need that high, high-end BMW, you know, performance, big, gnarly numbers, I think this, you know, for, for what it offers in terms of a package is really, really solid. So if you're in the market for a decent sports sedan, uh, take a look at the 2022 uh, Genesis G70, right? And uh, I promise you, you won't be, uh, you won't be upset. You can tell them a sharp move sent you. Uh, just a little note here, um, I'm gonna be pumping out a lot of videos in the next little while, in the next month or two. Um, if you find value in these, uh, in these videos and you wanna support the channel, please like every video and hit subscribe. Join our community, get involved, um, and uh, and we can try and make this thing a little bit, little bit bigger. All right, I know I have a lot of fun with these with these videos, and I want to continue to keep making it bigger and bigger with you guys and, and bringing you things that you guys enjoy. So hit that like button, hit that share, subscribe button, and uh, and really support the channel. Okay, see you in the next video.